These are over 2,000 prison cadets who are currently undergoing vigorous training at Luzira Prison Academy. They have on Friday, 4th August 2023, been receiving a government paper from the Secretary General NRM Party, Richard Tadung. Makerere alone, we take a whole week having ceremonies of graduation from Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. We are graduating students. But this graduation, you are sending people to the labor market, to the job market, and there are no jobs. Because the skills, the graduation you have, the degree you have, does not match the requirement in the market. So I am glad to inform you that the Minister of Education is trying to improve the curriculum to help us train more job creators than job seekers. To do, zero down the call for discipline and professionalism to the cadets. A personal discipline that translates into an organization discipline. Because the unit of a person helps such a person to understand the clarity of the mission, the purpose of the mission, and the objective. So the reason I'm here is to help them to blend their knowledge with the party thinking. And, and I'm very grateful that uh, the leaders are very straight and uh, they are serving their country with the diligent and we congratulate them. On the other hand, the cadets were also tipped about the dangers of practicing corruption during the course of their duties. Corruption is what erodes somebody's career. When you come as an innocent person, you're exposed to resources that is for the institution, you're exposed to opportunities, you're a commander, you have manpower in your, at your disposal, you are tempted to misbehave. So I warn them against that. And it is something which is very serious that we need to keep preaching to help our nation. On his behalf, the Secretary General NRM Richard Odung commended President Jair Kakutam Seven and the Commander-in-Chief of Damned Forces of Uganda for professionalizing the forces. The officers are now qualified to join the loyal forces of Uganda. We should serve the nation with honesty and integrity. Robert Onyango, UBC News.